Hi, everyone. First thing I want to say that it's quite strange for me to do a speech in this, in this thing. <laughs> because um, I'm usually, when I do my speech, I, I have to move a lot. So it's quite strange. And it's my first speech in English because usually I do my speech in Italian. So I'm quite excited and I want to share this with you. Because I, it remembers me the first speech that I had when I had to... For, uh, to teach sales techniques to 100 sales agents, so I was quite excited. And exactly the same I'm excited today. So, before uh, starting with the speech, that's not going to be an ordinary speech, I want to introduce myself and tell you this strange story, because I started with, um, with an art institute, I studied in an art institute, and then I took a degree in uh, mechanical engineering, and this is, I think, it looks uh, somehow far from what I do now because I help startups, as you as you see, as you say, uh, so in uh, go to face market. But it, it is not so, and I'm telling you why. Because this creative way of thinking, mixed up and shaked up with logic, with uh, analysis, with a method to solve problems given me from engineering, has made a good cocktail that works pretty well with startup companies. So, um, the light is very... <laughs> okay. Anyway, this cocktail, as I was telling you, works quite well. And um, I have to, with startups, I help them in the go-to-face market. So, uh, this thing is making me very... Um, doing my work pretty well. Anyway, today I'm not going to talk about myself and uh, about what I do for a living, but today I'm going to talk about some experiences, so my speech is going to be more uh, like a collection of facts and experiences I've had while meeting some extraordinary and amazing person that taught me a lot. I remember it was uh, like um, many years ago, I was, not, uh, I was a young marketing consultant, and uh, thanks to my father, I'm Persian, I was going to meet, um, how you can say, um, a big company in the, um, in the carpet import export. They had very big carpet storage. And so I was quite excited. They were looking for opening an e-commerce. And I was going there in order to help them doing this. So I prepared, the I prepared my speech, I prepared the presentation, I was imagining and wondering what they, they will need and uh, how to place the product and all this marketing stuff. When I uh, met this person, the CEO of the company, after he was making me visit the, the company, imagine one kilometer square of carpets. So really, really big, one on another. Okay, and then I start with a question that I was thinking was a good question. I start by asking, okay, which are your needs? What is the target? What you want to do to place the product? And this kind of thing. And then I received the strangest answer I ever had in my life. Because he answered me, Alessandro, you are completely out of sight. What? You are completely out of sight. You are losing completely the sight of what we are doing today. Today we are not going to talk about product placement. Today we are not going to talk about target. Today we are not going to talk about what we want to achieve. Today we are going to talk about value. Our biggest value, our company value, is this carpet storage. We want to share it with the whole world. So I felt really stupid. I understood that I was really not looking at things, not listening. So keeping this lesson in mind, I tried to stay open. Of course, I didn't get the job, okay? So I tried to stay open, and after a few years, I ended up in an online classified company, one of the biggest one, based in Turin, as a commercial director. As a first task in this company, I had to increase the sales. So I set up a goal, very big goal, 300%, the goal that they were reaching 
the previous month, and I ended up by reaching it at 93%. Was really the best result that they ever had. The timer is not working anymore. Anyway, uh, was really the best result that they ever had. So I was happy, and all the company was happy with my result. I get complicated by the president. I was thinking of receiving compliments. Oh, yes. OK, he called me. I entered his office. He locked the door with the key and put the key in his pants. And so the situation was quite strange. I was quite scared. You imagine you are called by your boss. He locked, he locked the door and he put the key in his pants. Fuck's sake. What's going on? I cannot say uh, anyway. OK, so. He said to me, are you happy with your result? I say, yes, you know, oh, hey, of course I'm happy. I'm happy too, but today this is not the matter. You set the goal by yourself, Alessandro, you did not reach the whole goal. So you failed. So, again, I felt I was not a good commercial director because it's not about setting a big goal or a smallest goal. It's about taking responsibilities. What he said to me, he said, you have to double the goal for the next month. Hey, was really quite impossible. Foolish. Foolish, I say. Okay, I had to promise because I was trying to avoid the promise by saying, um, okay, I will do my best, but I cannot promise. He said to me, okay, we are going to sleep in here together if you do not promise me that you are going to double the goal. Okay, first, first I was thinking, uh, first I was, uh, I thought that he was joking. So I tried to avoid the promise again. When I realized that he was not joking at all, okay, I promise. Guess what? Not only I reached the goal, I exceeded of 20%. So being an entrepreneur, it's about taking responsibility of when you say something. So. If you say something, then you have to achieve it. This is taking responsibilities. After, again, was few, I don't know, maybe one year later, I was uh, working as a commercial director in an online ADB company. And I was doing pretty well because, you know, my, my salary was much higher than before. I was reaching targets and this kind of thing. But I was scared. I was scared because, you know, it's not because I was not doing well. I was afraid of losing what I achieved. You know, I was in a good position with a good salary, and I was afraid of losing everything. I remember I was flying back to Turin, and in the flight, next, uh, in the seat next, next to mine, there was an entrepreneur. I don't know, maybe, maybe he sensed it. I don't know why he started to, to say this thing to me, but he said, Alessandro, I'm not going to be worried. Also, if I lose everything I had right here, right now, I can lose my company, I can lose my money, and I will not be worried about. Because also if I end up cleaning trashes in the street, I assure you that after one month, I will have my own team. After two months, I will have my own company in the trash business. So being an entrepreneur, it's not about achieving. It's not about what you have already achieved, because you can lose it anytime. It's about a not giving up attitude a behavior, a strong behavior of not giving up when things happen. There's a, um, there's a samurai aphorism in uh, Hagakure that tells that when bad things happen, it's not just that you have to remain calm. You have to celebrate. You have to be happy that a bad things happen. Because when the waves goes up, the boat has to do the same. Then I remember that I, you know, I, 
after uh, doing these experiences, I've started my own company. I've tried, I say, okay, I'm ready. I want to start my own company. But starting your own company, it's different because it's, um, I mean, also if you have duties, if you have responsibilities when you work for a company, when you have your own company, it's based on your resources, it's based on your money, you are responsible for everything. So, it's really hard because you have to stay in this and be calm. And again, I was scared because I was thinking of money, 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 I need money, this kind of thing. I was looking for some partnership with other companies uh, in order to get better, to do things with my companies. And I was lucky, I got lucky really to meet um, the commercial director of a big companies in the online ADV and was one of the founder as well. And uh, I was amazed by his energy because he was very determined, when he, very energetic person. And so I asked him, just, you know, just talking like this, I asked him, hey, Matt, could I ask you, how do you start? And he was telling, he told me this, this nice story about him. He was 20 years old and uh, he was working for his father. So he took his last, last paycheck, he quits. He took his last paycheck that was like 500 euro, okay, so not a lot. And what he did, he hired some guitarist teacher and uh, by asking them how much they, they were asking for hours, so hourly based payment. Then he was going to beach owners and schools and this kind of thing, asking them if they were looking for some guitar courses, okay? And they were happy with it because it was a good thing in order to, uh, you know, make people more happier. So they were doing, the beach owner were doing the marketing, were giving him the space for free, and they were paying him in order to organize the courses based on hours. So he started his own company like this, the timer goes out again. Anyway, this strange story, it's, it's about, because we always wait for opportunities. We do not have to wait for opportunities. A good entrepreneur is someone that creates opportunities by doing connection with things that already is, that things that already are out there. So as a conclusion of my experiences, of my story, it's that I learned that a good entrepreneur has to really look out, look out there, create opportunities by themselves, then be open because it's the market, it's the people that has to say to you what they want from you. You do not have to set something fixed and follow it like this, okay? And another thing, it's about not giving up because things maybe are going to go not that well. Maybe someday you are going to fail, but it's not, not about failing, it's not about money, it's not about anything. It's about not giving up and it's about taking responsibilities for your choice. When you choose something, you have to take the responsibility for it. And it's about knowing the value, knowing that it's not money that counts, it's the value, the value that people give to themselves, the value that you can create, the value that you think you have. So, thanks to all, and I hope that it will help in some way.